Hello everybody, my name is Promise, and welcome to Steamed, the series where I go through my Steam library and find games that I bought, but never had a chance to play. Today we're taking a look at a game that was released in 2019 called Islanders, and this is what I would describe as a chill city builder. That is to say, there is no threat, there is no time limit, if you mismanage your resources, your people aren't going to die horrible, horrible deaths. Now, Islanders allows you to expand your own city at your own pace, however you so desire, but just because it is simple and there's no threat, threat does not mean that this game is simple or easy. It does take a bit of work and some element of strategy. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Here we go. Now, every time you play the game, you will gain a randomly generated island, right? And on this island, we will be placing down various different structures to build out our city. Now, what kind of structures we get is slightly random and luck-based. If you take a look at this little button right down here, we're going to be given one of two random packs of buildings that we can place. Now, let's see. We have a lumber pack, which is good if we have a lot of trees. And I do see a few down here, which could be nice. We also have a farming pack for mills and fields. So, do we feel like we want farms or do we want want lumber packs. Now, you're not really looking for resources in particular. You don't need resources to continue constructing. What you're looking for are buildings that will get you a lot of score. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the lumber pack. Now, by picking that, you can see we are given a handful of buildings, right? We have a sawmill and we have two lumberjacks. Now, these are important to understand, right? Take a look at the sawmill. You can see in the description that we would gain a bonus number of points if there are lumberjacks, warehouses, or statues nearby. But the more sawmills nearby, the less points we will get. Lumberjacks like being near the sawmill, statues, and trees. So placing them near a bunch of trees makes a lot of sense. So let's say I wanted to place a sawmill down somewhere over in this way, and I can plan around placing, let's say, a lumberjack right here, and I can try to place another one far enough away from the other that it's not going to impact the score. There's a full another nine points we can gain right here, okay? And notice that as we gain these points, we are adding to our score. Score is extremely important because that is how we are going to progress and gain a new pack of buildings. So you can see we have advanced a small tier, and we are given another random pack of two different buildings. Let's say we want to go for the brewing pack this time around. It's going to give me a whole bunch of buildings, including, yes, another brewery, right, and some additional lumberjacks and so on. Now, we can still place you over here, and if I place this carefully, we might even be able to get a handful of points by keeping it close to a sawmill. So let's say I place it like this. I still get eight points. And let's say I wanted to place another sawmill, and we'll do so. I can't really keep it out of range, I don't think. Well, I could place it over here, and actually is worth 14 points if you do something like this. Okay, sure, we'll go ahead and place that down like so. We have this brewery I want to place. Let's go for, um, let's say I play, want to have some space to work with. So we'll go ahead and place you right over here. Followed by some hot fields, which benefit from being near, you guessed it, a brewery. So I'm going to go ahead and place one along here. And then if we can place multiples next to each other, we get even more benefit, right? So there's 13 points, and boom, we have advanced another score tier, which means I get even more buildings, a city pack or a farming pack. City packs are nice because you do get to place down some houses and mansions, but I think I'm going to go for the farming pack. We likely will get some city stuff a little bit later. Oh, look at this, another sawmill. Well, we have to be very careful where we place this because, again, we could lose points instead of gain it. In this case, under the nine points right here is probably the best we are going to get. Let's go ahead and place down a mill. I think right over here is probably fine. We have some more hot fields we could place down. Now, by doing so, we might reduce the number of trees we have access to, but that's honestly fine. We've already soaked out a lot of points. So we'll go ahead and place that over there. Then we will place down some farms next to the mill. Let's say one right over, whoops, excuse me, right there, and then another one right here, and then we can get another one right here. There we go. And we have another pack. And so on and so forth until you have run out of any score, right? So let's suppose you get to a point where you no longer can get enough points and you can't keep up with the increasing requirements to advance a tier. At some point, you're just going to run out of gas and find, oh, no, I can't get enough score and we're just kind of done. Well, over here down in the bottom right, you can see we're actually filling up another island map. Once we have maxed out what we can do here, we can go ahead and click on the next island as long as we have placed down enough to fill it up, and we'll move on to the next structure, keeping our score, taking that with us, and we can start over with a new island. Now, we've actually gained access to some shamans over here, which benefit from a handful of things, especially flowers. They do like having lots of flowers. There's some flowers to be had up over here, for example. That could be kind of nice. Eh, some flowers over there, not too exciting. We could place... Well, if we place it over, let's say, along this cliff, could we get access? Not quite. But if I do this, we could get 15 points here. We'll go ahead and do that. 
And then there's another nine to gain if I place right over here. It's probably the best we're gonna get, so we'll do that. And then again, more hops. Let's go ahead and place you, place some more farms nearby, and so on and so forth. As I said, very zen, very, very simple to understand and pretty fun in its own way, but if you really want to make sure you get that maximum score, you do have to plan accordingly, right? Figure out where you're going to have your agricultural and your industrial area. Because at some point, buildings don't like being next to other things. Let's suppose I went for a city pack, right? Houses and mansions may not like being next to sawmills, so you could find yourself losing points, which means you need to plan around where you're actually going to have all these zones to maximize your score. Now, before I go for the city pack, I am going to go ahead and place down a seaweed farm. I know that the shaman like having these, right? So let's see if we can place you, let's say, right up over here. That's a lot of range to work with for some seaweed. We'll go ahead and place that right along there. Uh, I can fit a little bit more hops if I do this. 21 points now. Hello, we're going to be swimming in the hops. All right, as long as we keep this relatively close to the structure, we can get some seaweed farms. I actually did this in the wrong order. I think it might have been better. Maybe. Maybe it would have been better to place down the seaweed fields first and then the farm, that actually might not be true at all. Eh, regardless. All right, so we get a few extra points like so. And a water plateau. Well, this is interesting. Base score of 13 gets bonuses for nearby sawmills and so on. This basically just gives me some more real estate that I can build off of. So let's suppose I wanted to build one right here. Take a look. There are some sawmills over here, and therefore, therefore, we can place down... Uh, one over here for 16 points. Actually, let's say that I wanted to... Well, first, let's actually place down the rest of the seaweed fields to make sure I'm not actually messing this up. Uh, I actually can't get in range of this. Ah, darn. Okay, so we're not going to get a very good score out of these, basically. Well, we call that unfortunate. I messed this up a little bit, but that's all right. We'll go ahead and place that there. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and place you like so. And then maybe fit you right in here like a Tetris piece. And look at that. We now have some more buildable space. That's pretty useful. Okay, now we finally do have to place down the uh, city pack. That's fine, though. I'm going to place down a city center, right? By placing this somewhere, let's say, over here, I guess, uh, we will be able to take advantage of some bonuses for, let's say, some mansions. Mansions like to be placed down the city center, near shamans, plateaus, statues, and so on, and also luxury goods, right? So we can go ahead and place this, let's say, right along here against the city center like that. I'm going to try to fit you right along here as well. I think that building nice and tight is pretty helpful. And then we could place down, let's say, a house somewhere over maybe here. Houses like to be placed next to each other, but this is going to take up a lot of valuable space for the mansions. Might be a little bit risky, but we'll go ahead and place that over there. And again, a water plateau. Well, I uh, don't mind if I do. I'll go ahead and place this right here. Oh, fountains are pretty nice. These are like parks. They do increase the value of all homes, hence why building in a nice urban area is beneficial. So let's go ahead and place you right along there. I can place down another mansion close to the city center and probably get a lot of extra score if I place it like this, for example. And then another house. We can place you right along over... Nine points is all I'm going to get, really? Okay, well, I guess we can go ahead and do that. Ooh, now this is unfortunate. I can't quite get enough score because there's nowhere for me to place down a mansion that's going to actually have enough. I got limited by the pack in this case. So just barely, we're actually not going to get enough score, and I'm going to fail on this island by only three points. All right, well, that was not the best showing for me, but we kind of had a weird bunch of space to work with. Let's go ahead and move on to the next island. You don't get to return to your old island, so say goodbye and say hello to something new. The good news is the second island sometimes has new and exciting stuff. For example, we see some gold piles down here. Maybe we get a mine pack or something like that and we can access a whole new set of buildings that would allow us to get more score. For example, here's something new, the brick industry. Okay, fine. So we could place down a brickyard somewhere, and then if we place down a sand pit relatively nearby, we would get a few extra points. That said, we're really close to not having enough points to move on to this next level, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. Let's go ahead and place down some strategic seaweed, All right? Something like this. Okay, and then the 10 points. Okay, that alone should be about enough to get me there. So let's try placing the brick works. Let's say, I'll kind of put it over, let's say here. That should be fine. And then we'll place the sand pit as far away as we can while still being in range. There we go. That's another 12 points for us. Let's move on to the next pack. Another city pack. Fun. Uh, there are some lumberjacks. Ah, there's some trees sitting around here. Is enough? I mean, maybe. 
Yeah, we could probably go ahead and try going for a lumberjack pack, and it looks like we get some more brickwork, so we get some more sand pits. Fantastic. As long as we spread these out, we can get a whole load of points. Well, now we're starting to get some new stuff over here. I have access to a warehouse, which benefits from a handful of different things. Also placing down some large plateaus and such. More water plateaus? Sure, why not? Got myself another city center down over here, so we would be able to expand out another urban area as long as I don't mess this up. What does the warehouse really benefit from, though? Um, I think from a few things over here in particular. Yeah, place it down over this way. We get a load of points from all of our industrial buildings. And this is what you're building toward, right? You're trying to find these really good combos, deliberately placing things together that you know eventually are going to pair up really nicely. Oh, this is a new thing. What about a circus? Now, circuses like being near houses, but not mansions. If I were to take the circus, though, I do have quite a few houses in this area. Question, how big is the range? Um, big enough that I can't really take advantage of this area the way that I was hoping to. Well, crud. One fatal mistake there might end up costing me this particular map. We can get at least a few points if I place down up over here, but that's not that good. And again, all the mansions are over here, so this doesn't do me a whole lot of good either. Hmm. Hmm, I seem to have messed this one up. If I had known there was a little more space here, that would have been great. 14 points, huh? It's just not very good or exciting. I wish there was a way for me to demolish some of these buildings, but alas, there is not. We could place down some more housing elsewhere, and hopefully this ends up being a meaningful number of points. I mean, you get four extra for being near a house, but even placing down a house over here is not gonna make up for the amount that I've lost. So we'll go ahead and place a circus on this very precarious plateau up here. I'm sure people will love to come by and see it. We also have some extra towers that I could place down. Not a lot of great locations for it. I take that back. 23 right here is not half bad. We'll go ahead and place right over there. And then we got some more parks and stuff that we can place to beautify the area and blah, blah, blah. A gold mine contains gold mine and jewelry. Finally, I've been looking for something like this. We can place down jewelry next to the mansions and mansions love this stuff, right? Wait a minute, what are we getting as far as points? Minus 35 by default. Bonus if you can place it near a gold mine. Oh, you know, here I was thinking that the mansions were going to be enough to carry me to victory on this thing, but it looks like the answer to that may very well be no. In order to take advantage of this, we need to have mansions nearby and we need to have a gold mine. Well, let's see if we can place down the gold mine, let's say, let's see, that's 35. So the base score is minus 20. Place it nearby a gold vein, you get an extra 35. So minus 20, place it over here, gain plus 15. But if I place it just far enough on the edge, kind of like this, we can try placing down the jewelry, at least in a place that can benefit from some points. All right, we can get like 30 more over here. So this wasn't an amazing pack for us, but it could have been a heck of a lot worse. A market, this is a new building. Likes being near warehouses, city centers, masons, and so on. Let's see, if I place you by the warehouse, we could potentially get a lot of points. 31's not bad. But it benefits from all the mansions and houses. If I placed it right up over here, oh, I saw 35. There we go. And this allows me to keep building some more houses in this area and take advantage of that as well. Perfect, I like that, okay. Yeah, we're still trucking along fairly nicely. This is working out really well. A resort oasis. Now this is new. Likes being near plateaus, hot fields, water plateaus, parks, fountains, and so on. Doesn't like being near any form of housing or any form of uh, industry. Ooh, okay. So while I would have benefited over here in some ways, the hot fields, not so much. What about up over this direction by the oasis? No, sawmill's too close by. Can I fit it over here? Looks like the answer is no. It doesn't want to be near a city center either. I feel like the only real option then is to place it down over in this direction, accepting that there is going to be some point negatives due to the masonry and the brick brickworks and stuff, but mostly working off the fact that there's lots of trees as well as a lot of hop fields nearby. So basically, this is going to be my local beer resort. Let's see, a tavern is a new one as well. Breweries, city centers, and so on. Wow, there's actually more, uh, more of these packs than I thought there was. Cool, so we place down over here, for example, with two nearby breweries, place this right next to the Resort Oasis, that's another 29 points, absolutely, I will take that. Uh, let's see, for the rest, well, we could place down some more sand extraction over here, I suppose, that's probably fine. 
Extra houses continue building out this urban area. We could place down a nice, lovely little park. Fits right in here. Only worth five points. Not that exciting. Um, can we fit something, let's say, over here with to make the mansions better? Maybe... Nine points over there, it's not that exciting either. Hmm. Parks do surprisingly well near a bunch of farms as well, like this. 13 points, we place it right up here, okay. Well, that seems to be better than some of the other options that I'm immediately seeing. Um, Fishers, not seeing a lot of great options. I, they don't like being near each other. You wanna place these close to, ideally, some seaweed farms or something. I can place another five points out there, and yeah, that's kind of about it, if I'm being honest. Six points right here, fair enough. I think we're starting to run out of gas, though. A temple! Minus 75 by default. Likes to be placed next to a statue, but my statue's completely taken up, so I know I'm not going to be getting that, unless it's got a really long range, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, masons, plateaus, shamans... Nothing great. We might be able to take this. Let's try it, but I kind of feel like this is going to be the end right over here. Yeah, this temple is not going to do me a whole lot of good. Likes being near the plateau, fair enough. But beyond that, just kind of okay. Very short radius to work with. Not much for us. Ugh. Okay, well, we call that unfortunate. I was kind of hoping we could fit something over here, but apparently that's not going to be a thing. So the best I can do, then, is place this really expensive building in a spot that doesn't get me any points. Ouch. You hate to see it, but maybe we can place down some other stuff, like, let's say, another market. No, we do not want the markets near each other. Okay, how about this one over here for 42 points? There we go. And let's see if we can fit some more mansions in an area that will benefit the temple. Fit you right over here, for example. Uh, another 11 points. We're kind of running out, though, right there. It's not going to be enough unless I get a really good house. I don't think there's any way I'm getting enough points at this point. 18 is not bad. Uh, no, I think this is going to be the end for this particular map. Which is unfortunate, because we were looking pretty good for a while. 17, I'll just shove it on in there, but you can see that we are just going to be shy. Well, we could now move on to the third island, and I'm not going to show you guys all of that right now. I think at this point I've kind of made my point. But if you really want to maximize that go score and go for a high score run, you really have to be thinking strategically and have some sense of what each of these packs do. And the only way you're ever going to be able to find out is just play, play, and play again. And you got your time. Take your time. Figure out what kind of moves you want to take because no one is rushing you. This is a very zen, simple, chill game with a good element of strategy. And I think that's all I'm going to show you guys for today. So thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.